As the sun rises on a windy September day, Veron Kapitako is getting the final stamps on her immigration documents. She is among about 100 over Herero people of Namibian descent relocating to their ancestral homeland. This journey began in 2015, so it's been eight years waiting for us to be repatriated to our motherland. And we waited a long time, and we were beginning to have doubts. We were not sure if one day we will come or not, but finally we managed. We arrived. We are welcome, happy faces. Everyone is happy. Thousands of ethnic Ovaherero fled Namibia in the early 1900s to escape a war between German colonizers and local resistance fighters. Nearly three-fourths of the Ovaherero population, about 60,000 people, were wiped out in a genocidal campaign. Many of the 20,000 who remained found refuge in what is now Botswana, but they regarded Namibia as home. Today is indeed a historic day, a day on which the people who are Botswana of Namibian descent are coming back and tracing their steps back to Namibia. Namibia, the country of their motherland. So it is indeed a historic day. Carrying the luggage with toddlers in tow, about 50 of Herero men and women cross the Gobe border post. They are escorted by government leaders and traditional chiefs to begin their new lives. More of Herero will come when their ghetto get the necessary clearance from authorities. The Namibian government has set aside five commercial farms for the returnees. The new arrivals are hopeful the transition will be a smooth one. If you give me a farm and all the implements on the farm, I'll be able to farm successfully. This is just the beginning of a resettlement process that will take months. Namibian officials say it is a form of restorative justice for people whose ancestors lost their land so many decades ago. Vitalio Angula, VOA News, Wintuk, Namibia.